Hi Moy, Sinfi Abyss here, and before I go over my PS4 games, you know, I haven't done a video like this for quite a long while to be honest, yeah, so what I'm going to do is um, show you my gaming setup so far, you know, so obviously I've got a good Sony Bravia TV here, it's about 42 inches, you know, love this TV, ignore the, the um, what's that called, I'm my, all the cat treats on there, they're obviously for the biggie boy. Now, um, let me show you the consoles I have here, here is my Wii U, it's got the um, GameCube adapter next to it and uh don't really use the gamekeeper adapter to be honest because um you know that's just more or less for my cut my family mostly my cousins and uh, my my friends as well they they usually use the, the pad not me and underneath i've got one of the best consoles of all time the nes great legend that that that, that system is and i still play it today literally i was just playing double dragon just a week ago and um here is um the n64 you know still good there i haven't played it for a while but it's still but i do i know i still play enough here to say that yeah might as well still be here and next to the nes is um sky hd box it's like um you know that's where i watch my ufc and everything and that it's where it's, where I'm, it's anything i'm usually watching on tv really uh and here's my v VHS, so my VCR, yeah man, I still watch VHS, well, audio VHS, I've collected all the, over the years, still got all the tapes up there, you know, so that's all brilliant, you guys might be wondering, uh, where's the PS4, the PS4 is actually all the way over there, you may be thinking, why is the PS4 all the way over there, and you can, by the way, the PS3 next to it, I'm going to go over there in a sec, you may be wondering why the PS4 is all the way over there, well, where the PS4 is, it's actually kind of out in the open. I don't want it in an enclosed space like this, to be honest, because I, I believe that's exactly what gives people yellow light of death. That's what, that's what I hear anyway. I think that's what gave people with Xboxes red light of death as well. I'm not sure. Red ring of death, that is what I meant to say. But yeah, that's why I have the PS4 and PS3 out in the open. So I've always had it. Uh... Now, looking at the PS3 there, you might have noticed, that's actually um, the, um, oh, what's it bloody called, Super Slim one. I used to have the big one, you know, I ain't got it on me now, because uh, it mashed up. I tried fixing it many times, but it mashed up. It's really sad that I've got to say goodbye to that one, because it was backwards compatible with everything. This one, you can play PS1 games on it, but you can't play PS2 games on it. You know, so it's a bit of a shame. So a retro gamer like me, obviously struggle. But um, yeah, it's got the PS4 right here. Got um, two controllers right here. The red one seems to have mashed up a little bit because it's a uh, it's not very respond. It's not as one hundred percent responsive as it used to be, which is um, annoying really. Because I specifically bought a different color pad because when I go out to people's houses and I bring my control. I always want to bring the red controller so it distinguishes yeah, whose controller is mine or theirs because they obviously got a black control, you know. But um, unfortunately in this case, the, the control is not really working properly anymore. So if I go to someone's house, I'll just take the black one and we just have to um, remember the serial numbers on the back. Okay, so um, let's go on to, um, well, that's getting really shiny out there. So let's go on, get on to um, the PS4 um, games. I've only got, actually got six. All those others down there, the PS3 um, games. You've already known most of those already. I'm pretty sure you've seen the videos. So let's um, go over the games that I have today. You know, so Knack is the first ever game I got for the uh, PS4. And I've got to say, this game was really enjoyable. I noticed this game did, quite, get, get, did get quite a lot of... Um, hate and everything there a lot of people disliked it and said it was just complete rubbish funkily enough not most of the people saying it was rubbish and everything they didn't even play it you know it's kind of sad how we've got into this type of um sort of thing that um the look of a character um throws you off a game like like we're all just judging all best based off the cover that how bad the game is or whatever and all that you know all gamers have just really got really judgmental. It's like if the game's not human character, it's um, it's apparently not serious. 
Oh well, rant over. But anyway, um, what I feel about this game, though, know, it wasn't the best game, but it's sure as hell not bad. I enjoyed. It's, it's great platform ac action. Been a long time since I played a proper pa platform like this. Um, it was a little bit repetitive. It needed a little bit more move moves in it, but but other than that, it was a great game, and I carried on playing it, playing it, so I platinum it. And look at who's on the front cover of the next game. Oh my days. How brilliant is that? I'm actually on a game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this already, yeah. <laughs> so obviously, um, this is EA Sports UFC. EA Sports was at the w open workouts last year when they were when they were promote when um they were promoting the event and promoting the game coming out and everyone could get to take a picture. Obviously I took my picture and I just looked badass in my photo. And um, I also got it signed by Ross, the real deal Pearson, and Joanne Calderwood. You know, it felt great, yeah, to get those signatures, and that felt great to get this um, whole entire thing done. Literally, it's like proper, it's proper, proper brilliant, man. So that's so that's this cover. So that's this game done, and I've got to say about the game itself. I enjoy the game. The game is actually brilliant. I think it's the best UFC game ever. The other ones all had problems, like one could be too slow, or the aspect of the grappling could be a bit more dominating than um, the stand. If it wasn't really much balanced, I feel this one is the most balanced ever, and everything in it just works perfectly. You know, I really think this game is just absolutely brilliant. Haven't played for a while. I need to get back into practice because people have been challenging me recently. So, got to get back into practice on that. And here we have The Last of Us Remastered. You know, obviously this is a game that came out first on the PS3. And then we have, a, we have it here on the PS4. I'm going to be honest here. I feel like this game isn't really the best game that people rated it to be. You know, it's a great game. Don't get me wrong. I actually did like this game in a finite. But at some points I felt as if the game was boring. The way the stealth... I mean, there's a, there was way too much stealth in it. The stealth in it is, is um, unique, but um, I felt as if there wasn't there was a lack of action. There actually there wasn't much action in this game. It didn't feel like the action flowed for me. So let me show you a game which I do believe the action proper flowed with. And that is the Evil Within. Obviously, this is the game made by the grandfather of survival horrors. You know, I mean, and. Um, it resembles Resident Evil 4, but it has its own little um, um, stealth system as well. But in my opinion, the stealth system, the stealth mechanics in this one was more fun than the ones in this one. I felt like this one just kept the action going, kept it real, kept it just kept it moving basically. So this game's just clearly, obviously, fun for me. Sadly, I haven't played for a long while because. I don't know, I think I've got to a point where I'm actually getting off long games. You know, game, long games that you need to clock and everything that. I haven't really been playing these types long lot recently. I mean, the one game that I've been playing like recently is um, Hotline Miami. Those are download, that's a download game. I've got Hotline Miami 1 and 2 and I've been banging out those two games. You know, probably because they're quick moving, they're, they're short games, not really things. So I, mean, I, just, yeah, I haven't really been playing long games, but I will get back to this, I promise. I haven't even bought a new Resident Evil game for a long while either. So that's a shame. And here we are with FIFA 15. This is a um This is a great this is a great game. Now um usually um a lot of people here um usually say, oh my god, FIFA. It's always the same thing every year. Well, you know what I usually do? I buy FIFA every two to three years. The last FIFA I bought was FIFA 12. So even though it feels like little updates every year, for me it feels like a big update because this is miles better than FIFA 12, you know. And I gotta say this game is great. It, the football in it just becomes more better, better and better. It's it's still fun. It's still great. It's got a lot of things in it which I can't really follow all of them to be honest. But I still love this game. I love the practice modes and all that sort of thing, and the training stuff. It's really great. The next game I could be getting, obviously, it could be FIFA 17 or 18. It depends. It just depends what happens, really. But, uh, yeah. It's great, the game. 
And last game I've well the recent game I've got mostly is of course Mortal Kombat X. And I've got a special edition here, as you can see, metal case. You know, always love metal cases. A proper good 3D print there of um Scorpion. And the C D is lost. The is in the it's in the PS4 of course. I've been playing this quite a bit recently. You know, starting to get good with Reptile, trying to learn more of his combos. I wasn't actually going to buy this game, but then, um, uh, you know, a few things, a few things happened, and I thought, uh, might as well. Wasn't really going to buy it because of the DLC, personally, but uh, I had to get it. I had to get, I had to get it. Yeah, to um, you know, there's a lot, a lot of personal reasons on that one, but. Um, yeah, um, this is all the uh, is all the PS4 games really. You know, ain't really got much yet. There's a lot more PS4 games I'm still planning to get. You know, okay, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put all these back in a while. Hmm, it's quite sure. What else can I? Hey, you can see my Yoshi amiibo right there. Uh, what shall what shall um. Mm. I ain't got much um, PS4 games. As well, also, I ain't even got much um, Blu-rays either. Yeah, let's go over the Blu-rays. Okay. Uh, oh shit. Um, hey, give me, give me, give me a second. I'm just gonna go quickly get it. Yep. Yeah, just. Uh, okay. Right, nearly, nearly got all of them. Okay. Woo! Maybe I got quite a lot more than I thought I did, yeah? So, Ratatouille, I think it was a great film. And this one's a bonus one. It comes with um, a bunch of Pixar short films as well. It's a bloody great film from Pixar. And before adulthood comes kidulthood. No, no. This is a great film, yeah. It shows shows some really good. Um, it's, a, it's a type of good films, yeah, that, that shows what everything in London is kind of like. But it's a film about making a difference, and it really is um, good stuff. And of course, I got Wally. You know, kind of, you know, this is just one of when it comes to just realistic graphics. This is just one of the best ones. Um, okay, not the best, but like almost there, man. They've done a real good job with this. Kung Fu Panda, it's actually one of my favourite films, it really, you know, it really does have the good blend of comedy, action, and great uniqueness, and the design of all the characters is just amazing, you know, still love this, love the second one as well. Here comes the boom, you know, great MMA film, yeah, it was very, very funny, I really enjoyed this, it was, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just such a good um, family film, you know, it was really great, it shows a good comedy side of MMA, Shows MMA don't have to be serious all the time. It's just terrific how they did this. TMNT. I think this is one of the best um, TMNT Turtles film, of course. I think it's a lot better than the new one that came out, obviously. I think this is... I think this one was just one of the best one. And it was made by an animation company that no one was even that no one even knew about called Imagey. And my in my opinion, they proved themselves with this one. Chocolate. This is a great film. Great fight scenes in there, everything that, yeah. One of the scariest parts was when this guy got his leg hooked onto this next hook here, which held him upside down. The pain must have been like, oh man. God, that was scary. And Ted. <laughs> Definitely love this film and I can't wait for the second one. You know, this is always this is funny to me. This really makes me laugh, yeah. And I, you know, it makes me laugh. I love I love the thunder song. When you hear the sound of thunder, don't you get too scared? Just grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. Fuck you, thunder. You can suck my dick. You can't get me thunder because you're just God's farts. That's just the best. <laughs> and Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Love love this film. Yeah, it's one of those ones that comes in here. But the price tags and all these other tags, it's all over everything, so you can't really see Scott Pilgrim on there. But um, 
obviously. <laughs> but it's a great, such a great film. It's a great film, yeah, because I like, I like how they use video game effects, yeah, and just make everything look like you're just in a video game world. I like when, when films do that. That's what, that's what I say makes a film. And, and Warrior. This film was, um, was great. I think the fight scenes were all cool and everything that, yeah. But I think, uh, the film was not the best film. It was not. It was a little bit boring. I think there's, I think there's probably a few more MMA films that are at the top of this, but I, I still enjoyed this. Still like it enough. And then after Kid Hood comes Adulthood. Yep, here's the sequel. And this, this one, the way they done this was just perfect. I think Kid Hood is still a bit better, but this one is still great. It's not, still, great legend and everything that. Love it. Still. Casino Royale, that's a, that's one that came free with the PS3. Didn't really like this film and all that, yeah. I think it's just a load of crap. And UFC 100. You know they had to put number 100 on Blu-ray. And I got mine signed by John Bones Jones. Planet Hulk. Great animation. You know, it's a great film. Enjoyed that. See good different sides of the Hulk. Very great. And Hulk versus. You know, there's obviously two films, Hulk vs. 4 and Hulk vs. Wolverine. You know, both films are great. Both, so, yeah, Hulk vs. Wolverine made me laugh a lot because of um, Deadpool. Deadpool was a very funny character. Bloody still brilliant. And Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. This is the 2008 one. I think this film was just absolutely amazing. You know, I think the fight between um, Hulk and um, Abomination was just spectacular. I felt all the scenes, everything with the Hulk. I actually like the design of him in this as well. Obviously, the one in Avengers is better, but this was a bloody great film. Okay. And Bolt. This was a film that took me by surprise. It really did. Because I saw the trailer, and I saw um, part of the film, and what I thought the film was about... It turned out that it was absolutely, completely different than that. And it was, it took me by surprise. What I thought I was going to see, I saw a mega low different. And it just, it was just amazing. This is a bloody great film. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Something seems, like there's something missing. There seems to be a lack of awesomeness uh i don't know do you know do you know hmm. i don't know something seems like there was something missing hmm. don't know where don't know what's missing here uh let me let me ask the biggie boy hey you biggie boy do you do you know what's missing Hey, you stole, you stole my Blu-ray. What the heck is this? So, of course, guys, yeah, real still. I think it's clearly one of the best films ever. You know, absolutely terrific. Perfect, as we all know. We all, we all know what I think of this film. And, <laughs> you know, this Blu-ray. <laughs> the Blu-ray should have, was, they should have just sent me a copy of the Blu-ray before they even, before they even published it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you yawning for, you biggie boy? Man, he's so tired. He can't even open both his eyes. <laughs> Come on. Rub that sleep out of your eye, you, you, you biggie. There we go. <laughs> now his eyes are open. <laughs> well, he usually wakes me up. So there you go. I woke him up. <laughs> but, but yeah, guys. Um, That's my... That's um, my gaming setup, my uh, PS4 games, and um, my Blu-rays, and that. So, uh, don't know what else I'm going to come out with yet. Might probably come out with another video um, soon. So, um, thanks very much, guys. I'll speak to you all later. Love who you are.